What is happening everyone? This is Phil with Think Make Do and today is Sunday. So we are, I think, seven days in on our drywall, mud, sand, paint adventure. And I'm here to check out how our contractors have done on our first layer of paint. Or actually, first layer of primer and first two layers of ceiling flat. So, Let's open up and take a look.
doing the painting ourselves and renting our own paint sprayer. But one of our guys who did the mud happened to have a paint sprayer. Ugh, and offered to do it at a pretty good price. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Looks like very sterile. <laughs> but looks like they took all the window coverings off because they're done with the ceiling. Looks like the second coat is still drying. If you can see the streaking, that should go away, hopefully. And it uh, doesn't look like we have caulking up. Oh, it does look like they've started to caulk the corners but not all the corners everywhere. Yeah, so they've done some of it. it should be a clear view. This is the second bedroom. Not sure what this is, but. Second bedroom. I'm really not sure what these black streaking lines are from. Take a look at our little kitchen dinette area here. Oh yeah, now this looks good. All right, so they may have only actually done the kitchen ceiling. You can see how it has a nice shine to it. Oh no, that's because we did the entire kitchen in a eggshell finish. So that might be why it has a total, it has a different look than this ceiling. Yeah, look at that. The difference is pretty dramatic between the two. So hopefully this dries up and we get an even finish or maybe they have a second coat to do. Okay. Painting looks pretty good. Can't complain about that. So tomorrow, I believe they'll be finishing up the second coat for the ceiling and then they'll work on all of the walls. So we have a a dove by bear color that we're using for the walls and that means it's a slightly kind of like sandy finish so it'll give a nice um a nice look so the living room the bedroom and the hallways are all going to get a um i guess actually no the entire apartment will get an eggshell finish right um so that means the kitchen and the bathrooms will also get the same type of finish so we'll check in tomorrow and see how that goes in the evening all right today is monday and our paint crew just finished up and applied the second and last coat of wall paint or interior eggshell on the walls uh, in our apartment so let's check that out So if you take a look at the separation between the walls and the ceiling, you will see the slight difference in tone colors. So this is called a Dove by Bear. And then we just have a very typical flat ceiling. Now, you can kind of see a little bit of unevenness in the ceilings. And I think that may be a result of spray, but it could also be that the ceiling is still drying. Won't know until tomorrow, really, if that has you know, if that will resolve itself. So I'm gonna turn the light on on my phone and see if I can get some extra light in here to show you what we're looking at. This is the bedroom. Uh, you can see we've got some issues. All right, if you look at that, some peeling that occurred. Oh, that's not good at all. Look at that. Yeah, 
it looks like they probably went too fast on the second coat and some of the mud ripped up. You can also see, not sure if it's that apparent, but you can see that they didn't quite fully sand down the wall edge, right? You can see some of that imperfection, so. Not totally satisfying, unfortunately. But I suppose what's done is done. I guess the good thing is in some sections it's not as apparent. I don't know why that bedroom wall is so extreme there. Well, I don't know if you'll be able to see in this room. This is the main bedroom. This wall looks better. Overall, I would give this paint job, I don't know, a B. I'd give this maybe a B, B plus. Could we do better ourselves? Questionable. Uh, I think we could do a better job, but it would take us at least twice as long to do it. So uh, I would say overall, it was worth it. The good thing is um, we're not living in it, so I won't have to see the imperfections that I just showed you. Uh, in the long term and hopefully the people that rent this place will You know never notice or not really care or cover it with whatever they want to cover it with anyway That's about it